Welcome to Botswana Week. Today we are making sezwa. Botswana is a country in Africa and one of their national dishes is a beef stew that's made um, in a pot over an open fire. But today we are making a crock pot recipe for home. So the basis of sezwa is the beef. So here I have a two pound shoulder roast that I have and that's what we're gonna cube into cubes and we're gonna put it in the crock pot. So you can use a shoulder roast if you want. A lot of times in Botswana, they actually use beef that is on the bone. Um, but here I found it was a little bit easier to take something that was off of the bone. So we're gonna cut this into cubes. I went and asked my butcher, you can use any type of uh, beef that's good for a slow roast. So you can also use chuck roast or something along those lines. But my butcher actually recommended the shoulder roast, uh, which is also known as an English roast. So that's what we're gonna be making the sezwa with today. So normally in Botswana, sezwa is made just with three ingredients. It's made with beef, water, and onions. And normally it's cooked over an open flame in a big three-legged pot. And what they do is they take those three ingredients, they put them in the pot, and they roast them over the flame for quite a long time, maybe like six hours or so. Instead of cooking this over an open flame, what we're doing today is putting it in a crock pot. So that way you can kind of throw this right into your crock pot before you leave for work in the morning, turn it on and it'll be ready for a nice hot dinner when you get home, which will be really wonderful. So like I said, normally it's beef, water and onions, but I've added a couple extra things. So we're gonna put some bay leaves in here some pepper, which actually would be in it if it was made in Botswana as well. And then I've also have a packet of Lipton Recipe Secrets onion mix. And this is something that my mom actually uses when she makes beef stew in a crock pot at home. And I love the way that it tastes, so I decided to add it to this stew as well. So we have our cubed two pounds of beef. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot. I've peeled and quartered an onion here, so I just peeled all of the, um, the skin off of the onion and chops it into quarters. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot. I have one teaspoon of black pepper, so I'll sprinkle that in. Five bay leaves. Now this box comes with two packages inside of the Lipton Recipe Onions, uh, Lipton Recipe Secret Onions, and so you only need one of them. So I'm gonna open this up and dump it in. And then last but not least, two cups of water. Now you're gonna want enough water to give, a, uh, just barely covering the beef in here, so. I'm gonna kind of spread this around and it should be enough to cover the ingredients that are in here. If you need to add a little bit more, you can. Okay, that was easy, that was it. So what we're gonna do is put the lid on. We are gonna turn our crock pot to high and we're gonna leave it cook for about four hours. After four hours, we're gonna check it. If the beef is tender, then we should be good to go. We're gonna shred it with, um, we're gonna shut it with our fork, but if it needs a little bit longer, you can cook it up to five hours or so. So I'm gonna start it with four here, and we'll come back and check it in a little bit. So Botswana is a country in the southern part of Africa, and in 1976, when they were um, developing their currency and naming it, they decided to name the currency Pula. And that's because at the time, in 1976, there was not a lot of rain in Botswana, and so it was really scarce, and it was valued just as much as money would be valued. So they decided to name them the same thing. So our sezwa cooked in our slow cooker for about four and a half hours and it was done. So I moved it to this little container here. And when it's in the pot, this is when you shred the beef, but I'll show you the technique here. So you take two forks and you can just kind of pull the beef cubes apart until they look like that shredded pork I was talking about earlier. Um, you know when the stew is done when you go to do this and it falls apart really easily. It shouldn't be very hard to break apart those beef cubes and that's when you know that it's been cooking for long enough. And then you can also use the forks too to break apart the quartered onions as well. So again, like that, it should look like some shredded pork there. So I'm going to give it a try. Mm. 
I love it. It reminds me of that beef stew that my mom has made for my whole life, one of my favorite meals that she makes at home. And the taste of it is delicious. Again, if you wanna hearty it up a little bit more, you can put some carrots or some potatoes in it or something like that. And then also, if you're looking for something else to pair with the beef stew, next week on my YouTube channel, we're gonna be making pap, which is um, another recipe from Botswana that goes really well with this beef stew. So don't forget to check back next week for that. And if you want the recipe for this beef stew, go to my website, www foreignfork.com and you can check it out. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.